Ohio lawmakers move to strip states indoctrination board of power, which is a this is a good thing. Except the problem comes with what they're doing with that power. The Ohio Republican lawmakers are pushing to take away some of the state board of indoctrination's powers and give them to the governor, according to the Columbus Dispatch. Yeah, big mistake right here. So what what happens when Ohio puts a Democrat governor in office? Right as uh, the parents are finally taking back the school board and the school board becomes more conservative. Oh, look, now now all the power is with the Democratic governor. Oops, this just going to backfire on you. This is the same mistake that, that, that the Democrats made when they got rid of the filibuster for judicial nominees. They never even considered what would happen if Republicans were in power. Yeah, the, the, these people ain't the sharpest spoons in the knife drawer, I swear to God. Like the only correct solution would be to disband the Board of Indoctrination. Leave it up to locals. Like, let the free market decide. Let each school run things however they want, and the free market will sort them out. Oh, but RGE, then everything's going to be different and there'll be no standardization. Bullshit. There, you realize, like with college, there's private colleges that can do whatever they want. There's state colleges, yet somehow there's still some level of standardization because there are organizations who who give out uh, or who handle things like standardized testing, a accreditation. That's what I was looking for. Accreditation. So if you want to be accredited with a certain organization, they have some requirements you have to meet. Like, see, that would be fine. So, so then, uh, you know, you as a parent would be able to choose, okay, I have like four schools in the area. Uh, this one is accredited with this organization. This one's not accredited at all, but apparently, you know, kids from this school end up landing in good jobs. This one's accredited with this other organization. You don't need a government board of indoctrination. In fact, at the federal level, notice that uh, right after the board of indoctrination was formed, that's when the nosedive in education quality actually really started happening. What a funny coincidence. Now, the state Senate heard uh, Senate Bill 178 on Tuesday, which would take power over the K-12 curriculum standards and textbooks from the state's board of indoctrination and give it to members of the governor's executive workforce board. Good idea for now, bad idea in the long term. Like, seriously, guys, don't do this. It's fucking stupid. Now, according to a Columbus Dispatch, the board uh, would be left with control over the state superintendent and teacher licensing. So a hearing uh, comes after the Ohio Board of Indoctrination pushed off voting on a resolution that would denounce the Brand administration's proposed changes to Title IX, which requires schools to allow students to use the bathroom and locker rooms on, on the basis of gender identity. Well, it's mostly women that support this, so give them what they want. And uh, the Ohio Capital Journal reported the board voted Tuesday to consider the resolution in December. Yeah, let's punt it to after the election. So some people might look at this and conclude, well, they're doing this because we're frustrated with the particular action the racism or Title IX. So Matt Huffman, Republican Senate president, told the Columbus Dispatch, but this is 15 years of frustration for me. It's a series of endless discussions about attempted reform, all of which is stonewalled by the bureaucracy at the Department of Indoctrination disband the whole department of indoctrination you don't need them like th that is the definition of bloat like for some reason the country was able to operate just fine without it for centuries do we really need it on November 8th, three Democratic members were elected to the Senate, uh, the State Board of Indoctrination, the Columbus Dispatch said. The board is composed of 11 elected members and eight members selected by the government. Oh, the governor, sorry. Uh, we couldn't be more proud of taking a majority in the state school board this year, Liz Walters, our Democratic Party chair, told the outlet. Wow, Ohio, how dumb are you? So while other states are, are, are taking back their, their uh, you know school boards, Ohio is like, ah, okay, we we can give our kids to you. That's fine. Ah, whatever. You'll uh, you, you'll learn soon enough, I guess. I mean, look at how well that worked out in Virginia. But you know, some people have to learn the hard way. Like some people can't learn from other people's mistakes. They have to they they have to experience the suffering themselves.